Hey you, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about seven styling tips for short torsos. I have a short torso, so I know. We'll talk about how to find out if you have a short torso and all these different kind of tips and tricks to pull off all the kind of latest trends while still feeling really confident about your body proportions. So if you're new, welcome. I'm Jules. I do videos on shopping, fashion, and style, and I'm going to be incorporating more videos about short torsos. So if you like videos like this, if you have video suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell, like this video so I know to keep making more of them. And now let's get started. I want to start off with a quick disclaimer because these are not rules. I don't believe in body type rules and that if you have a certain body type, then you shouldn't wear this. These are just styling tips and tricks and suggestions that I have learned over the years styling my own short torso body. Let's start off by asking the real question here. Do you have a short torso? The answer is you might if you clicked on this video, but the way to tell is to stand up straight and tall, put both of your hands underneath your bra, and then see where your belly button is. If your belly button is below your hands, then you have a long torso. If your belly button hits right at the bottom of your hands, then you are proportionate. Or if your hands are completely covering your belly button, then you have a short torso. The other really important thing to keep in mind with all of these styling tips is your height. If you have a short torso, your height is going to be proportionally different and so I can't say that my styling tips are going to fit you. I am 5'5 and so my styling tips fit my 5'5 short torsoed hourglass body and all of that is going to be really really important to keep in mind and to know as we move through this video. All right my first styling tip and yes I know my collars popped the entire part of this segment. I'm sorry it bugs me too. If you have a short torso is all about high-rise jeans, high-rise pants. As someone with a short torso, that high-rise can come up really, really high. So that's why I say knowing your own height is so important with a short torso because different rises will fall on you depending on how tall you are. And so the first thing you really need to do is to get out a tape measure and measure your own rise. Measure the rise on your favorite pair of jeans, measure the rise on all kinds of jeans that you have and on your own body and see where everything lines up on you. That way you know, okay, I'm looking to buy this pair of jeans. They have a nine inch rise and I know what that is on me. I have seen some jeans with a nine inch rise labeled as high rise and some of them labeled as mid rise. There's really no consistency across the board when it comes to sizing and I know that's not news necessarily, but it's really important to know. So for me, I am 5'5 five five, and for my short torso, I know 10 inches is the highest I will go for a high rise. And now I don't want to talk too long about just high rise but this part of high rise is super, super important. Because high rise jeans will make your legs look longer, it's important that the hem of your jean is shorter. I've been meaning to get these jeans tailored for a couple months ever since I bought them, but I haven't had a chance to and actually worked out well because now I can show you why these jeans need to be tailored because they just look so much better and so much more proportional when the hem is higher, when the waist is higher. Keep your proportions that you normally would with like a mid rise jean and then as you go higher with the waist, you're gonna want the hem to get higher as well. All right, styling tip number two is to stay away. Ah, again, that sounds like a rule. I don't like that. Maybe not choose. <laughs> Pants with a lot of volume. The more volume you add to your bottom half, the more blockish it's gonna look. It can really just make you look like one big block on the bottom. And then you don't have a chance to sort of regain those proportions in your tops or your jackets or your shoes. And so it just sort of really throws things off balance too much if you take already the proportionally longest part of you and add more volume to it. I wouldn't necessarily opt for wide leg pants. I'm not saying I'll never wear them, but I haven't figured out a great way that doesn't make me feel disproportionate. And then along that note, styling tip number three is to add interest up top. Draw the eye up away from the incredibly long legs. Cause right now your long legs are just drawing the eye to this like, I don't know why your legs are doing this. They're drawing the eye up. But the more you can draw attention up to your face rather than to your legs, like, you know, eyes up here, you want things that are catching to the eyes. But that is some advice that I live by. I am always looking for really cute tops. I love jackets. I love jewelry and curling my hair now that I figured out a way to do it in 10 minutes. And so actually most of my pants and bottoms are pretty simple. They have a little bit of interest here and there, but I'm honestly just trying to draw the eye away from my proportions and more to my features. 
Huh, that was a nice way to put it. All right, style tip number four. I'm gonna go back to talking about rises and your legs and jeans because your hems are so important that I had to put another styling tip in them. And that is not only should they be a little bit higher, the higher rise your pant is, but your shoes need to be proportional to your hems. So here's what I mean about that. Certain shoes will cut you off at different places, just like your hems will. And so the higher up your your shoe is on your ankle and the fact that there's space in between your shoe and your hem it makes your ankle and your foot look like it's taking up a bigger portion of your leg and so it's going to make your leg look a little more proportional and so I really like ankle boots that actually really come up to my ankles or past my ankles versus little boots that come below my ankles that just makes my leg look too long it makes my feet look like too disproportionate in my opinion and I want to say too having long legs isn't bad at all like I'm all about accentuating long legs but I am very aware that having a higher rise pant can make my legs look really really long to the point where I don't feel comfortable in my skin and so these tips are just to help you feel more more comfortable pulling off this trend. Styling tip number five is all about tucking in your shirts and whether or not you should. I feel like there's some conflicting advice out there that if you have a short torso, you want to not tuck in your shirt because then it makes your torso look longer. I completely disagree. I honestly think most shirts look really good half tucked. This goes back to number one again, and that is to know your measurements. Get the right rise for your waist. Cause yeah, if your rise is way too high and you're tucking it in and it's way past your waist, then it's not gonna look good. However, I do think there's an exception and that is with cropped tops. If the cropping for the top comes close to where you would normally tuck it in, then you don't need to tuck in your shirt. You're getting close enough to the area of your waist to accentuate that your body comes in, but you, you don't necessarily need to tuck it in all the time. And I was about to say that leads me into my next point, but that means I need an outfit change. So all of that leads me into style tip number six. When you have a short torso, it is so important that no matter what you're doing, if you're feeling like your proportions are off, or if you're just not like super loving your outfit or how you styled it or the pieces you've selected, you always want to accentuate your waist. You will always feel better accentuating the part of you that is the smallest. Now, depending on the different shape of body, you you may have that can mean different things. For me, having an hourglass shape, I am always looking to accentuate that waist. And then again, not to beat a dead horse, but measuring your rise up to where your smallest part of your waist is, that is where you want your highest jeans to ever come. For me, that's 10 inches, but for you, it could be 11, or maybe it's nine. It totally depends on your body and your torso and your own shape. Tip number seven is so important, and that is to not be afraid to get your clothes tailored. As we've talked about, there are so many different kinds of bodies out there. It's important to know that the clothes that are made out there might not be made for your body. And chances are you're going to need to get those high rise jeans hemmed. Don't let that be a turnoff for you to have the perfect pair of pants. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you haven't already and subscribe. I would really love to have you back. Until next time, I will see you in one of these two videos. Bye.